Hello guys, welcome back again. This is Suresh from Mr. Automation channel. Today in this session, let's understand how we can create a first test in our JMeter. So far, we have discussed about the introduction and installation of JMeter and we have seen the UI and uh, JMeter plugin manager. In case if you are new to this session, do watch the sessions. Those are important and useful. I will share the link in the description box you can find from there. So let's get started. So this is a JMeter and as soon as you open the JMeter UI, you will see the test plan on the left pan and you will find this test plan area where it will show you the test plan name. You can update this uh, as a first test, first test and you can add some comments xyz and you have some uh, options to add and uh, add from clickboard and you have a thread group options and then you have a tear down uh, we can use this uh, later on but uh, let's understand how we can create our first test so i will create a simple and basic test where we will uh, run and see the results so that's the basic test so this is helpful for the beginners and for the advanced uh, features we will discuss session by session so on right click you will find some option so this test plan contains the uh, elements so which elements are refers to test plans or graphs and reports and you have some uh, prerequisites like uh, a header manager user defined variables so all this you can arrange as an elements so those will be available when you right click on your test plan and click on add then you will see this elements so these are all the elements present in your jmeter so and first and initially uh, we have to select the thread group so thread group is the entry point for our execution and once we select this thread group you will find some uh, options in within the thread group so these options are like thread group name and you have uh, actions to be uh, taken after sampler error so this means that whenever we execute any uh, sample it gives some errors so on getting error whether you wanted to continue even you get the error or whether you wanted to stop that so these options are helpful when we design a framework level and we will discuss in further sessions and then we have a thread properties so this has a number of threads which means users so we right now it is default to one but you can provide multiple number like 10 100 thousand one lakh and you have a ramp up time which is uh, represented in seconds so it is defaulted to one second you can provide uh, seconds based on your uh, uh, usage and then you have a loops so this is the number of iterations that performs within that loop so you have an infinite and then you have an option to provide that and then you have some uh, check boxes which will be uh, like a same user on each iteration delay thread creation until needed so this we will use uh, on uh, specific scenarios and after we get this thread group then we have other option uh, when when you right click on it then again you have a add then you have a sampler so under that sampler you will find all the samplers which are uh, you will perform for the performance test so basically you can select any of this type based on your uh, usage but uh, for the simplest one we will use the http request http request sampler so once we select this http request sampler you will find the name so this is a name uh, that you can update and then you have a protocol so you have a protocol like https and http so you can provide that protocols and you have a server or ip name so this is basically the website that you are referring uh, that ip name we have to provide and the port number and uh, the type of that uh, method so you have a get post uh, port and you have many options so if it is a get you can put the get option and you have a path so path is the the end point of your api and then you have an option to provide a uh, parameters and the body and the file uploads so these are uh, pretty much similar uh, where if you uh, see the postman under postman what are the options that you see right basically those options will be available within this uh, sampler http request sampler and uh, for say example for for demo of this session i will use one of the application url so let me take this jmeter url as an uh, example and i will give this here and in the IP or a server name, uh, we don't need this to be given. This is HTTPS request. So I can provide that here. 
and I can remove from this server name okay and uh, no need to provide this uh, power slash and if I am putting any port number you can provide the port number right now it is not uh, uh, I'm not giving any port number to launch it so I can give a port number then you have a path here which is nothing but endpoint so right now there is no path for it so I'm giving an uh, option to forward slash and uh, it is a get call so I'm not providing any parameters and a body because it's a, a get call so this is one of the example that we are looking for and then after uh, after we execute this we have to uh, see whether this is running or not or where I can see my results so for that you can again go to this thread group and right click and go to the add and then you have a sampler and not sampler you have to go to the listeners so under listeners you have a view results tree and uh, you can select one more listener as well so you have a n number of listeners but i will show you uh, demonstrate two listeners view results uh, in table so view results tree and view results tables are a useful ones when you do a development of your performance scripts these will be very much helpful so now i will go to this thread group and i can right click and i can start from here or you can use this uh, a play button at the top so you can use either of the options but I prefer like whenever I'm executing any thread right I will use this option uh, thread group level and start this and it is saying you would like to save this before running it you can save it and uh, I can save this as my first test dot jmx jmx is an extension for any jmeter file whenever you are saving make sure that it is a extension with jmx or you can select uh, at the bottom you have a file tab it is a jmx so as long as i have a file tab as jmx i don't need to provide a dot jmx okay it is saved and i can go to this view results tree you can see this size executed and this is the view results tree page where you can uh, see it is by default selected to the text and you can select the uh, the HTTP call which has happened just now that call and it is showing as right tick mark with the green background which means that it successfully ran and the sample result is here the sample result and uh, you can see the thread group it is one of one and you can see this load time and uh, connect time latency and the bytes so all this information will be available here and in the ABI testing you will generally refers to the status code and status line right status code is uh, 200 and uh, status line is okay so that information also you can see here and you have a request again so what request we have sent to the server whether we are uh, hitting the correct uh, uh, endpoint or not that information also we can see in the request so on the request you have a request body so what we are sending in the request body that information also you can see here so this is the url that we are trying to hit and then you have a response data so under that response data what information i am getting so response data under that response data you have a response body and response headers same thing for request you have a request headers and a response headers so here i am selecting it as a text type right so it is showing in your as a html type if i change it to uh, html it will show you something like html not exactly the browser version of html but it is show you the similar kind of behavior like uh, we discussed in our introduction session right how this will behave this will behave as similar to browser but it is not a browser right i will generally prefer to keep it as text or a json so you can keep it as text and then you have v results table so v results tables is something which uh, uh, if you see in the v results uh, tree there you have a sample results right in the sample results what are the information that you are getting here and uh, that information is also coming here you can see this uh, how much what time it was started and what is the thread group and uh, the label of that request and sample time status and bytes and uh, status byte send byte and uh, latency so latency is something which we will discuss in next session so it is very important is even in the interview point of view so that we will discuss so right now i have selected or used only one thread and one thread and with a sample time of ramp up of one second so i will do one thing i can make it as 10 and my request time is 20 seconds or uh, i can make it as 15 seconds 20 seconds and thread loops is now it one so i can 
make it as five and i will use the same as uh, same uh, user for same iteration each iteration i will clear the results and i will right click and start so you can see here view results tree it is coming and loading all the threads so every request is looping five times so first user is looping five times second user looping it five times three and every user is looping five five times and you can see the samples time and status and the bytes and bytes and latency so all this information will be visible here so we have other listeners too we will uh, go deeper in the listeners when we come across each listener so right now we will focus on the first test in the jmeter so we have successfully executed our first test so what we have done in the session so if we recap so we have created a test plan under that test plan we have created a thread group by right click and go to the add under that you have a thread under that we have selected thread group and thread group we have provided users and the ramp up time then we have uh, created one more uh, http request sampler under that so we have provided uh, the server name and uh, protocol and get call and view results tree for checking the results and view results table to check the same results in the tabular format so i hope this session is helpful for you in case if you are new to my channel do subscribe to my channel if you have any questions queries do post in the comment section i will help you out thank you